all people of Earth. I'm working on the one-eyed robot build. Today I'm working on the voice module. It's going to be like a couple of uh, lights that are, they bounce up and down and, and have a good... I went out and I got myself a view meter uh, for like measuring audio uh, levels. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook that into the soundboard for the robot. Uh, you can see that it has uh, two rows of lights here. Uh, that's left and right channel. That came as a kit. Now. I've never actually put together an electronics kit before. I know, kind of sad, right? Um, basically, it comes as a blank circuit board, and you have to solder all of your components to it. Luckily, everything's sort of nicely labeled. You can see on the board all that white writing. It's crazy. Um, yeah, so we have ourselves a little, uh, a couple of uh, integrated circuits, a bunch of diodes and resistors and capacitors. And this row along the top is where the LEDs are supposed to be going. Now, the trick is with that, these are the LEDs that they supplied, these little, I don't know what you would call them, just standard LEDs, I guess. But I want it to, here's the robot, I want it to sort of follow the contour like this, you know, so when it when the lights bounce, they'll be bouncing sort of away from each other like that. But the way the kit is designed, it's designed to have them sort of parallel bars like this, you know, like on a, on a stereo system, so the lights sort of go up and down like that. So what I did was, I'm in the midst of uh, altering the kit a little bit, so I end up with this, uh, all of these are where the LEDs are supposed to go, right? Now this is just a breadboard for now. Um, you can see that I, I cut out all of these little wires where the LEDs are supposed to go and I put them into the breadboard and then I can plug my LEDs into the breadboard and get the configuration I want and you know then I'm done. So I'm in the middle of doing that right now. I have the uh, the second board assembled and I have to take all of these little wires. I cut like uh, 20 of these little wires from this, this big spool and uh, I've got to strip them on both ends and solder them in place and then attach them to the breadboard and then we're good. I'm just in the midst of uh, attaching all of these wires, uh, these wires here. I uh, stripped them all lovingly and uh, I'm putting them in where the LEDs go so I can still create another thing like this. And uh, then the stereo module thing will be done. Then I'll, I just have to plug my LEDs into the breadboard and all will be wonderful. It's all fully assembled. Uh, you can see I have my my LEDs in place here. Kind of, they're all a little wobbly, but they're they're in the breadboard, and it seems to be working okay. Um, I have my audio source over here, right here, and uh, you can see if I just bridge a couple of the circuits with my finger, you know, relatively low impedance, it works. So I've been able to get it to work fairly well with my, uh, by plugging in my iPhone, but unfortunately I'm, I'm uh, recording this with my iPhone, so, you know, I won't be able to give you a live demo until I actually have some proper audio hooked up to this thing. So all in all, it looks pretty sharp. Um, I like this, uh, I like this dealie here. It looks pretty interesting. Um, what I'm probably going to end up doing, I, I don't know, I may keep it on the breadboard, and I'll just put line outs for all of these LEDs and throw them around uh, the perimeter of this thing, like that.